Welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is going to be the general horoscope reading for Aries, December 2018. And the winner, the horoscope monthly winner, is Joe. <laughs> now, I put here an icon. He has an icon, or I'm assuming it's a guy because it has an icon of a man's hand with a tattoo on it. So if, you're, if your YouTube channel is J-O, Joe, and your icon has a tattoo on it, and you commented like major on my one hour weekly video, and you put all the times down for each constellation and like, Super, I was just so happy and so touched that you did this, Joe. So I chose you as my monthly horoscope winner. Look down in the subscription box below, in the description box below, and you will see my email address so we can get in touch and I can make a free 30-minute horoscope reading for you. So you get to choose either I make um, if you don't want to do it online and if it's difficult to get online, then I can create a video like this one and then send it to your email address. That's also possible. Okay, so, so Aries, what's up, buttercups? <laughs> now, <clears throat> where are my, here they are. <laughs> Got my notes, my numbers here. Okay, on the 1st of December, we have Mercury going beep, 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 retrograde in Scorpio. Scorpio is the house of marriage, the house of deep contracts, the house of, it is the house of um, other people's money, like bank loans and inheritances, alimony, government payouts, Yes, even your business partner's money or your spouse's money, okay? That's all in the eighth house. It even has to do with your in-laws. With Mercury going retrograde, okay, it's not a good time to talk to your in-laws. <laughs> Get a little bumpy there. Also, in regards to your communication with your spouse, if you're already married, be weary on how you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's. <laughs> okay, so now Mercury has to do with communication. Mercury also has to do with driving. And I, this is the card that I got. Mercury going retrograde. And this is, you know, <laughs> your ex or so. It could be your ex, your ex-wife, ex-lover, ex-business partner. You know, maybe you should warn them to be careful on how you're how they're driving. Okay, so the one thing that I have for you, because on the 2nd of December, we have Venus, the planet of love, luxury, the planet of um, sex, <laughs> entering into Scorpio. Now, Scorpio is the deepest um, house that has to do with marital bonds, yes. It also has to do with... Um, yeah, okay, marital bonds, these are the cards that I got for you, yes, love and marriage. Very possible that, that, that Aries people are talking about love and marriage, love and marriage, house and carriage, <laughs> who knows that song. Anyway, you want to be careful, your, your marital spouse, they should be careful on how they are driving, okay, especially because... It is in Scorpio, the house not only of transformation, but the house of death and deep spirituality. There could be a transformation happening in your life, Aries, okay? Now, the one thing, Venus is also about money, money blessings. In the beginning, you're going to feel this bump, okay? There's going to be a bump because Mercury is going retrograde. There may be like... Um, past discussions coming to the light 
with someone that you love. Maybe you're having to break up with someone. Maybe there was a love triangle. You break up with someone and you get into a very deep committed bond with someone else. Okay, that could have been a love triangle happening here, especially because I had already shared Saris and, and Venus, you know, they met and, and so in Libra, so definitely there could have been some kind of a, of a love triangle going on in your life. Um, the one thing that I also have here, which is really interesting, okay, you have this card and this card, you also have this card. The judge. Now, the judge is very important because on the 21st of December, the sun enters Capricorn, the house that has to do with judgment. Sun is about your ego. Sun is about um, wherever sun goes, you know, you have to, that's, that's where your focus is. The sun is shining on your reputation, on your career, wanting to help you. But let us not forget who's in the house, <laughs> who let the dogs out. Oof, 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 oof. Saturn is sitting here. The judge, the, the Saturn, okay, in mythology is, is um, Cronus, the father of Hades, the lord of the underworld. These two planets, Pluto, who represents Hades, the lord of the underworld, and Saturn, Cronus, you know, the father of Jupiter and Hades, okay, they are sitting in, um, in, in your 10th house of career. Your ego, your you are being looked at by your higher officials. They are checking you out. Now, as, um, Pluto has to do with transformation. It has to do with sudden ups and downs. It has to do with, you know, the endings, death, you know, things uh, that have to do with your career, your boss, your reputation. You know, this could be like very jovial and wonderful news for you that your bosses are have an eye on you maybe because you're going to get a raise okay especially because you have these you know deep contracts this either has to do with marital relationship or deep um or long lasting uh, business contracts so that is very possible the judge is there looking at you okay you're being judged either it's because you're getting married or you know, it has to do with the fact that your bosses are looking at you, or if you're caught in a litigation, uh, the, the, the judge is looking at you. They're like scrupulously uh, very, you know, they got their eyes on you wondering whether what they should do. Okay, so um, now um, it could be that you know, the third party, there's someone crying for you. It's either because your employer, you know, you leave your employer and you go to another, you know, there was, there was like a, there, you could have been moonlighting, doing extra work, um, uh, or like working in a garden and, and, and because, uh, Aries people, you know, you may have been in, involved in two jobs, two different, uh, two different jobs or in two different relationships and now you have to choose and one is mourning you know like they lose you as an employee or they lose you as a, a lover or whoever whatever and um and you and you get involved in another long-lasting relationship uh, the thing is if you are caught in a litigation very possible now that jupiter is sitting in your ninth house that has to do with litigation um you are definitely, and there is a new moon in Sagittarius in seventh house. So if you are caught in litigation, this litigation process is coming to an end, okay? Another thing that could be happening is um, that the ninth house also has to do with higher education, courses, universities, bosses, officials, either um, 
you have to say goodbye to a teacher or a professor or a boss, or it's the end of a litigation, or it's the end of a course, and that's why you have to say goodbye, okay? With the new moon, it, something could be coming to an end, okay? Um, it could also be like if you have been traveling around the world or traveling, 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 now that travel is coming to an end and now it's time to go back home or something uh, that has to do with higher education or uh, learning a philosophy, being involved in a philosophical group, okay? Ninth house also has to do with church, church activities, um, priests and nuns as well. You know, maybe priests and nuns have their eye on you. <laughs> okay, judgment. Now, this this is really interesting. Traveling. Mercury is in retrograde. This is like Mercury, and this is Mercury in retrograde. Dangerous. You don't want to be like driving this way, you know. <laughs> you have to be careful on how you are driving, especially like any business partners or your in-laws or your spouse, you know, tell them, be careful if they are rushing to you, tell them, you know, take your time, take your time and remind them to change their winter tires as well. And be careful about like if they have to travel to you or if they have to travel through snow on an airplane, tell them, you know, take another flight, warn them to be careful these people in your life, warn your spouse, warn your business partner, warn your in-laws to be careful on how they are traveling. Okay, so <clears throat> now um, another thing is if you go back into um, like if you are, if you may be feeling like out of place, like you <laughs> have a little black Peter upside down. Maybe feeling um, awkward, out of place, if you are traveling anywhere, you know, um, feeling like a sore thumb. You may be feeling, um, also, if you're caught in litigation, it's all, should all be coming to an end now, okay? This is for Aries Ascendant, Moon, and Sun, okay? So, um... Another thing, let's see. Um, Chiron, dun, 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 dun. Chiron going direct in your 12th house that has to do with spirituality. It has to do with um, your hidden enemies. It has to do with secrets behind closed doors. 12th house is very spiritual. It also has to do with things of the past. Chiron, that asteroid, Chiron, the wounded healer, it represents um, a centaur, half man, half horse. He was the most intelligent centaur there was. Basically, the other centaurs were morons and drunkards. <laughs> but he was different. He was a, a student of Toth, okay? And... Um, he knew how to um, he knew how to uh, create medicine and heal everyone. And back in those days, there in the mythology, uh, he would he took the the poison of like a of a certain um, serpent that was in the underworld, and he because uh, uh, Hercules had killed it or something like that. Hercules had killed it, and. Um, <laughs> Hercules had killed it and made the poison from, I think it's fangs or something, uh, um, Chiron made it, and somehow this arrow got shot into his own flesh and he couldn't heal this wound and he was, it was like really, really uh, dreadfully, horribly hurting him and because he was uh, immortal, he couldn't die and so um, he trade places with someone and um, another god. And so that's what he represents is someone who cannot heal his own wounds, but that pain hurts. It hurts so bad. And um, <clears throat> so Chiron got going direct on the 9th of December. Oh, that is an ouch, 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 ouch. 
You probably already felt this ouch. You know, this is in the house of hidden enemies. This is in the house of karma, in the house of things of the past, things that you did behind closed doors. You know, if you uh, were an enemy to someone who was of spirituality, of things that have to do with Pisces, you know, then <laughs> the 12th house has to also do with um, self-sabotage, okay? So Chiron going direct, that's going to be an ouch. Either you're self-sabotaging yourself. 12th house has to be very, very care careful, Aries. Do not be drinking and driving, taking drugs or anything. 12th house has to do with drugs. It has to do with, um, as well with, um, like spirituality. The one thing that, that, that could be for those who are a spiritual, especially if you are already getting your Chiron return, then this is actually good for those people who have, who are getting their Chiron return. Okay. And, and if Chiron is here, when it's going forward, you could be releasing, letting go of things of the past, letting go of, of, of certain things when, but it's going to come with a big ouch with lots of tears. So this is for the 5D, very spiritual people for the 3D people, karma has got to hit you, baby. You know, it pays to be very deep and very spiritual, spiritual. Um, uh, I don't, uh, I used to be extremely, extremely Christian and even sang for the pops at Maria Cell, 2007, I think that was. But, you know, Christianity is just like the milk and I decided to go down the rabbit hole into deeper knowledge and I'm very happy where I am, especially because now I've, I have found my own native Indian roots and I think I'm true, being true to my own spirit, to my own native Indian roots and, and yeah, I'm native Indian and it is, I think at the end, my calling to go this direction in my spirituality, yes? And so for you, you may be either, you know, going through something that has to do with spirituality if you're in 5D. If not, karma's gonna hit you, baby, especially with hidden enemies. Be weary of hidden enemies. Be weary of um, uh, gels, okay? Um, secluded because the 12th house has to do with gels and hospitals. So um, if you have any karma on your aura, if you try to hurt anyone, you know, especially of uh, who are deep spiritual people, this is going to come back. Karma will always come back. And this is the time where you may get hit really hard with karma. Otherwise, it's going to be um, letting go, releasing releasing wounds, releasing pains, okay? And when it goes direct, it's going to, that's what happened when Neptune went direct. Neptune, um, Neptune was an ouch with me when it went direct, but because I'm into spirituality and 5D, it became a blessing and it hired my vibrations and it hired my spirituality even more because my enemies were trying to, you know, hurt me. But at the end, I was blessed even more. So peace and thank you, baby. <laughs> I can only laugh. Okay, so that's, that's, that's how it is. Okay, so anyway, the 12th of December... Mercury enters Sagittarius. Mercury is the planet of intelligence. Mercury, another name for Toth, is Mercury. Now, if you were to dissect the brain and look at that pineal gland, it, it looks just like the picture of Toth. Believe it or not, you got to look that one up, okay? Toth represents the most intelligent um, he's the one who wrote the emerald green tablets, the green emerald tablets, and um, and he was the teacher of Chiron. Okay, now Mercury enters the ninth house, which is blessing 
um, blessing your traveling. You know, in the beginning, the traveling is not so good as you see this. Yes, but when it goes, when it enters, then it goes direct on the six. Ouch. Okay, in communication with with the in-laws and everything, but then the next week it enters Sagittarius, and so this then turns to this, and it's blessing you being able to travel, blessing you to enter into some kind of, of a course, um, blessing you with communications with higher officials, blessing you if you are in some kind of a litigation, it's blessing you. Now, the one thing that's really interesting is that's on the 12th of December, Okay, where Mercury starts to help you and bless you if you are caught in litigation. Now, before we have the new moon in Sagittarius, so something is coming to an end, new moon. If you are caught in litigation, something is coming to an end, 7th of December. Either the course is coming to an end or your relations with a professor or, you know, maybe the priest from your church is now moving on and going to another church. So that could be ending as well. Um, and then Mercury is uh, blessing you. Maybe you're talking to, to new people uh, um, in new courses, making new friends, um, having to travel, um, learning about new cultures and I have to pick that up. <laughs> that was a uh, WhatsApp from my Shaolin temple. Anyway, so, <clears throat> yes, I learned Kung Fu. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, that is uh, Mercury going into Sagittarius. Even Kung Fu falls into the ninth house, okay? And Mercury is going forward in such... Uh, in such things, in such courses. 21st of December, we have Sun entering Capricorn in your 10th house, a career of your, uh, the house that has to do with your reputation. And didn't I share this earlier? Because I'm having to do this video a second time because I didn't live stream the way I had wished, okay? Saturn is sitting there, the judge, Saturn, Chiron, I mean, not Chiron, um, he is Cronus, Cronus is sitting there, the father of Jupiter and the father of Hades, which is um, Pluto. Pluto is sitting there in, in Capricorn and Saturn, Saturn is the Lord of Capricorn, he's in his house, sun is entering. Saturn and Pluto are like checking them out. I mean, these are like planets that, you know, whether you like them or not, you must respect them. It's like your, your ego, your focus, you are being looked upon by your bosses, by higher officials. If you're caught in litigation, they are really scrutinizing you up and down. They got their eyes on you. Maybe it's because you're going to get a raise or a better position. Maybe it's that. Or maybe it's just because you're going to get married, you know. Go into the chapel and we're going to get married. Either way, um, um, Pluto is sitting there. So we got three planets sitting there. Your sun. You got, um, um, you have... Pluto and you have um, Saturn, okay? Someone, now Pluto, this like reminds me of Pluto. You see, there's this woman in the, in the cemetery, she's mourning, something could be coming to an end, okay? This is very karmic. If you have been um, not, a, not being of your most highest vibration, then, you know, you're going, the judge, the judgment is going to land on you very hard. And it could be the end of your job, the end of your career. Um, otherwise, um, what it looks like is, oh, well, I have another job or I have another, or it could, you know, um, you may have to, it, it could just be that you decide to, to leave one job and go to another job. Or it could be that you're married and, and they're, you know, people are, they got their eyes on you. It could be 
karmically good. It could be karmically bad. This is a general reading. It depends on your karma. Okay, so the 21st of December, I mean the 22nd of December, there's a full moon in Cancer. Now people would say, yay, a full moon in Cancer. The full moon belongs in Cancer. Blessings with the home. Blessings, you know. But the thing is, who is sitting in? Who is sitting in Cancer? But the North Node, Rahu. The name is Rahu in Indian Sanskrit. Okay, and I showed y'all last year, I mean last month, that, you know, that dinosaur head that I had? I showed you this is Rahu. He is very uh, sitting next to the moon and he amplifies that energy. Now the moon already is like, for me, the, the, I see the moon as a magnifying class that tends to, you know, make things a little bit more, more emotional and puts more, more, your thoughts and your focus is on there a lot. Okay, so your focus, you, your focus is so much on your home, it's just like beyond, <laughs> okay? The, this is how it is. When you have a full moon, you notice that the tide uh, to the to the ocean, you know, is just crashing just a little bit stronger, you know. And somewhere in the world, mark my words, somewhere in the world, and I'm usually good about saying these things, there's going to be a tsunami. There's going to be a tsunami either two days before or two days after, within the week, within the week before or after. The, there could be a tsunami happening with this full moon in Cancer next to the North Node, that demon that whose head was decapitated by Hades, by, by Pluto, and he was sent to the North Node, the Node side of the moon, you know, the axis when the moon hits that north node. Well, the full moon is conjuncting the north node in Cancer, so there's going to be a tsunami happening, okay? And um, this is, this is uh, um, another thing is your emotions are gonna feel like a tsunami. Your emotions are like whoosh, <laughs> you know? You need to meditate, my love meditate and bring your thoughts, bring your mind down. You know, that's what I had to do when some, you know, stalker watcher tried to destroy my life in the last week. And, and I meditated and thank God that I am protected by him. You know, not everyone really uh, resonates with my spirituality. I have native Indian roots. I am more earthly and, and you know, there is, uh, I do meditation. I'm into Kung Fu and Shaolin and, and Tai Chi. Not everyone does this. Maybe you're a nun. Maybe you're, you know, some kind of a other religion. You know, each man to his own, you know, you cannot buy the rights to God. God doesn't belong just to one religion. You cannot box him up, okay? So uh, God is love, and um, <clears throat> I had to meditate and bring myself uh, to, you know, back down. And the one way to do this is a reishi mushrooms. Reishi mushrooms really help to, to uh, um, bring your emotional, you know, bring your emotion. It helps you not to be depressed. It helps to cleanse your toxic body as well. It's a very good and um, yeah, that's what I did. And I was also very, very blessed because I had good astrology, you know, God is looking out for me. And so this is my, my you know, sharing with, with the people who are watching if you want if you feel like like a stormy weather is happening in your life and your emotions and in your thoughts then calm down um 
time to meditate, time to meditate, peace, time to bring your emotions down, and, um, and because I'm very, I'm an herbal herbologist, you know, maybe some people might call me a witch just because I know things of the earth and I know how to heal my body, you know, and I know about the stars and astrology. Maybe people call me that. But hey, I'm Native Indian. These are my roots. This is my spirituality. And a lot of the, the cultures of the, of the, you know, the ancient cultures were true to the land, true to the earth. And we believe Native Indians, we believe everything has a spirit. A stone has a spirit, a tree has a spirit, the earth has a spirit, the sun, the moon, the planets, they all have a spirit and energy, okay? And so, peace, if you don't resonate, then go to somewhere else that resonates. You don't have to stalk me here. I am protected, and I'm happy, and nothing you did really helped. So, bye-bye. Okay, anyway, another thing I want to share is that I post, um, I go to Fiverr to, to post my, they post my videos on all different kinds of platforms, okay? Just to let you know that just because my video is, is posted onto some kind of platform doesn't mean that I'm a member to that platform, okay? <laughs> I, I don't even know where my videos are gonna go. I just pay them and they post it, but now in the future, I'm going to make sure that the person who is promoting my video is posting my videos in nice, decent um, platforms. So that person who was trying to destroy me, uh, it didn't work. So blessings to you, peace. You know, be careful. Karma might hit you on the way out. <laughs> okay. Anyway, 31st of December, Mars enters Aries. Mars enters Aries. <clears throat> this is going to be really good if you want to, you know, make those mookies, you know, strengthen those muscles. <laughs> and, and um, yeah, this is a great time to start that. Mars is pumping you up, making your blood flow. You're feeling very strong. You're feeling like a go-getter. Mars is in his house. So you're being very blessed with Mars here. After the 31st of December, you're like, let's go. So all power to you, Aries. Hugs and kisses. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Scribe. And the winner, the horoscope winner was Joe, you know, Joe, <laughs> he has a tattoo hand on his icon. Please uh, contact me. Okay, bye.